Hey guys, this is Empress Shay Shay. Welcome back to my channel. I love you guys. I consider you nothing but family. But I have a message that I have to give to you guys from yesterday. I had made a um I had made a video yesterday about um spiritual um guys, I'm so sorry. It's it was a spiritual um message, okay? I can't think of the name right now because I have a lot on my mind. I'm getting a lot of downloads. But the spiritual message was about submitting to your husband if and when you get one. Okay? And we manifest here on my channel. So we manifest positively. We manifest high vibrational things. Okay? I got a lot of backlash from that video. All day long people was calling my phone going off on me, leaving dirty-ass comments. Then I have this one specific family that thinks I'm fucking talking about them, and they know who the fuck I'm talking about. I don't have your fucking goofy-ass family on my mind, okay? I don't give personal messages that come from my life. My life is very private. Anything on my channel that I give to you guys is from the Holy Spirit, or, if it's some privacy from my life, I, I want to share with you guys. And I will let you know that it's personalized from my life. Okay? This is crazy shit. I guess people think because I'm a high priestess, I'm a spiritualist, I'm a, um empress, that they think I'm not with the shits. Okay? I normally do not respond to low vibrational shit and negativity. But I have to respond to this because this is so fucking absurd. Okay, the message I gave about submitting to your spouse or in a relationship, that again was an intuitive message I got from the Holy Spirit when I was meditating. And that's only for women and or men that want to live in a healthy relationship. Not unhealthy. A healthy relationship. I didn't know what a, a healthy relationship was, guys. I got married at a young age. This motherfucker was abusive. You know, I didn't know what a healthy relationship was. And I'm not afraid or ashamed to say that. So I was really excited when, um, I, have, I, have, when I got an epiphany yesterday. I'm learning a lot of things at 50 fucking one years old. And I'm telling you guys everything in my story because I want to help someone else. Okay? You never know who's out there that needs to hear this message that I need to touch. Or wake up. Or afraid to speak out. Be like, oh my God, she went through this. I can do it. She made it. I can make it out. And there is hope for you to have a healthy relationship after being in an abusive relationship. Trust me, I did it. I'm doing it now. I used to be afraid to be alone. All of that. The Holy Spirit will deliver you from that. That what this message was about. But guys, as a spiritualist, as an empress, a high priestess, your walk with God, whoever you pray to, it has to be respect in a relationship or it's going nowhere and it has to be a foundation built on the Holy Spirit in my eyes, if that's the if you living in your purpose, I'm not talking about a Bible thumper. I'm not talking about someone that's blasphemy. I'm talking about real people that want to live in their spiritual purpose on purpose and really want to live for God. And really want a godly relationship on a strong foundation. Okay? The message is a is about a biblical marriage, basically. Let's take submission out of it because people go crazy with that. You want a biblical marriage. Trust me. Okay? And what that means is the wife is to be the helpmate of her husband. She should support him and give counsel to others. 
He is to make the decisions based on sound, mental, biblical knowledge. And yes, his wife is to have wisdom. She is to be faithful to herself and her husband and give faithful instructions. And the woman is to support her husband, back his decisions, even when she does not agree. And the Bible instructs you for that. Okay? 1 Peter 3 and 1. And the wife, in the same way she submit herself to her husband... That goes both ways, guys. Okay? But it doesn't say that the woman should be quiet and use only her own actions. To, you know, come on, guys. You got to think. The object of it is for the woman to use their words in a true submission manner. To demonstrate her actions in a... In a pure manner. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Man oh man. The husband's is to be the head of the household. The wife she should speak with wisdom. Proverbs 31 and 26. And the wife should share her thoughts on important family things and topics with her husband. But she should do so in a godly manner and a way that is pleasing to God. And don't argue the point of view to her husband. Don't raise her voice because that's not a woman of God. That's all the message was about. And if you're not ready to live that life, I'm not here to force it down your throat. You don't have to live what Empress Shea, Shea is saying. Choose your discernment as to the messages that I put out. Okay? I normally do not respond to low vibrational shit or to negativity. But even though I'm an empress or high priestess, I can be with the shits too. What you guys did to me today was very disrespectful. Okay? I'm not saying all of you guys. I'm speaking to the ones that did it. Okay? But what I'm trying to tell you guys. Okay, it was... I don't know if you guys remember the movie Officer and the Gentleman. And the one guy told the other guy, What separates us from the goddamn animals? You know what he means? When you living with no respect in a home, you ever walk in a home, you don't know who the fucking child is, who the adult is. Or the wife cussing her husband out. And and it's no respect. How, first of all, if it's no respect between the husband and wife, there's no foundation in the home. So the kids are going to fall. Everything is built on a faulty foundation. Who the hell want to live like that? Or the wife is horn the streets. Thinking nobody's aware of what she's doing, but the whole fucking town knows she's a hoe. And this is not judging. I'm speaking from the Holy Spirit. But then come home and go to church or think nobody is aware of what you're doing. And you done made a bad name for your family and everybody, your husband. I mean, this is not personal message, just me speaking from the Holy Spirit. Because it's what's true. But then you want to come back and say, I wonder why my husband do, do what he's doing. I wonder why my husband won't give me respect. Because for one, you're not giving yourself respect. In order to submit, you have to understand yourself. In order to understand yourself, that's what we call duality. That's what we call balanced people. 
If you're not balanced within, you cannot be balanced outside and you damn sure can't live a balanced lifestyle with someone else because that's what we call being healthy and being in a healthy relationship. How can you possibly just take, oh, submission, oh, I'm not living like that, or oh, I'm not bound down to being a slave. You're ignorant. You need to read. Elevate your mind so you can get to a higher level way of thinking. All that low vibrational shit and way of thinking, that's why we are, as women, can't find a decent damn man. Because you do not want to listen. You do not want to take heed to counsel. You can't say you want something one way, but then you live another way. I had to learn that. I even watch my words of what I say. Because sometimes we can contradict our own damn selves coming out of our own goddamn mouth. Guys. On this channel, we're going to grow, heal, and evolve. Nothing less. I do not personalize these messages again. I do not personalize these messages. These are intuitive messages I get from the Holy Spirit. And like I've heard someone say, if a hit dog holler, that means it resonates. If it resonates with you that's a good thing that's because the Holy Spirit wants to give you this message and I'm here to shake shit up I'm not here to lie to you I'm here to tell you the fucking truth and I'm really trying to stop cursing but this right here it took me to it took me to another mm, I'm telling you I don't like disrespect I live disrespect for so long I do not like disrespect I do not want to be disrespected and yes, this is not a personal message for me. But yes, this is what I would love to be. This is what I would love to live. If I'm truly living for God, I would want this in my life. I wouldn't have a problem with submitting to anyone if I'm living the right life, guys. This is decent and in order and on track if you are living in your life purpose and you're living for the Holy Spirit. And that's the last time I'm going to say this. And I'm not personalizing this. This does not come from my personal um, lifestyle. I'm not trying to give no message to anyone um, personally. This is a message from the Holy Spirit. And as long as I got breath in my body, I'm going to speak on it. Anything and everything God tells me to speak on. You take it personal, not my fucking problem. You have a good day.